God cannot use a discouraged servant. Good morning to you all. Let's take our reading to the book of First Timothy. Get home and read from chapter 1 to the end. But I will just go through verse 12 there. The Lord grace to Paul. I thank Jesus Christ, our Lord, who has given me strength that he consider me trustworthy, appointing me to his service. Verse 13, even though I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man, I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. Hallelujah. Take your reading from verse 1 when you get home. From verse 1 to the end of First Timothy. You have so much to learn here. God cannot use a discouraged servant. I would not say God cannot bless, but let me say God cannot use a discouraged servant. Are you one of the discouraged servants? You can get irritated, anything can overwhelm you, anything, just anything. Anything can discourage you. You just say, mm, I'm living here. And uh, the place you are going may be even worse than where you left. Or even the atmosphere, maybe the weather. You feel, ah, look at the crowd. And I don't know when, how many this man will attend to everyone. What's he doing this morning? God cannot use a discouraged what? A discouraged servant. We must overcome such attitude as a Christian. We must overcome what? Such attitude as Satan has a way of, I mean, making you overwhelming, worry, complaining. You, you, you are happy now. But little time, maybe when I'm praying for people, I just touched suddenly maybe I did not touch you. Ah, these people have followed me here today. <laughs> so if they follow you, they are the ones who say I should not touch you. Can you see? Huh? I thought the first, you are the next person to touch. Maybe somebody just fell on the floor and I tried to jump the other way and I escaped you. You say, ah, oh, these people have come here again. If they come here, would they ask me not to touch you? <laughs> if they have power over you, would they have power over me? Over our Lord Jesus Christ. So anything, just anything. Um, maybe probably you expect it to fall during the touching. You saw your neighbor falling down. But you, you still standing. The thing do not work on me. The thing is not working on me. Ah. You now begin to look at the people that are turning. Ah. And they have touched you, you stay the same. Ah, the team. It's not work for me. And God does as a way. It's not necessary you to fall. When God touches you, you may not even experience anything. But God is working out the answer. I may even not touch you, I may just say you, I will leave you. That is the instruction given. That don't touch this man. Don't touch this woman. And the problem is gone. Without touching you, it is instruction. It's not you, it's me. Eh? God cannot use a discouraged servant. We must overcome such attitude. So much attitude can lead to discouragement. So much, so much. Even mosquito. You may be fasting, you find yourself in the mountain for three days, 
Suddenly, one big mosquito just come. Uh, that is the one that gave you awareness. What are the one that had been being in your body for two hours, soaking so much blood? By the time you just move your hand, full of blood. Oh, 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 oh. This mosquito has carried many diseases and a lot of discouragement. We must confess with our mouth, like the book of Revelation 12, verse 11. Because what goes wrong must surely come wrong. And when we plant a wrong seed, the wrong harvest will surely come. So our confession is very, very important. What you say, by saying about ourselves, what the Bible says about us. Tell your neighbor, by saying about ourselves, what the Bible say about us. I can hear you. I can hear you. By saying about ourselves, what the Bible says about us, we are made to overcome. The book of Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens by saying about yourself what the Bible says about you. What the Bible says about you? No matter how unsteady your life appears to be, stay steady. 